Today on Switch to Linux, we want to talk about a slight change that is coming to Windows accounts in February of 2025. Curiously, the same time that Google is changing the fingerprinting, what's going on in February of 2025? Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we want to talk a little bit about Windows. Of course, it's not Wednesday, uh, but hey, I wanted to really do Linux last Wednesday. So uh, let's go ahead and come back and do a short video here talking about a change that Microsoft is going to be bringing in February of 2025. Of course, as I said in my introduction, Google is also making a change in 2025, allowing advertisers to once again fingerprint people. What types of sites you're logged into? What type of computer do you have? All these dimensions, all these fingerprinting things, which Google had previously uh, uh, prevented people from knowing, now they're going to go ahead and let advertisers use those things. Right about the same time Microsoft is doing this thing here. If you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed. Leave us a like and a comment down below. From The Verge, Microsoft will automatically keep you signed into your account starting in February. You'll need to remember to sign out if you're using a public computer. So uh, this, of course, affects you even if you are on Linux. So if any circumstance that is requiring you to use a Microsoft account, then uh, what you can do here is you will, um, uh, if you're signing into a, a Microsoft account anywhere, you're going to stay signed in. They used to sign you out when you close the browser. Of course, their whole thing's talking about security, so let's just keep you signed in all the time. Because, you know, no hackers are running around stealing session cookies or keeping you logged in or getting around MFA. This is the biggest security bundle, uh, bungle, I think, that Microsoft has done in a long, long time. Let's dig on into what Verge says. Theirs is a fairly short article as well. So starting in February, you'll stay signed into Microsoft accounts unless you sign out specifically or if you use private browsing, especially if important if you are using a public computer, but also very important even on anything else. As we had said, a lot of this malware going around that's breaching accounts, even accounts that are set up with pass keys, the golden standard of pass keys. We are safe until someone steals your session cookies. It's the most common way of breaching right now. Very interesting. So now you'll stay signed in unless you explicitly sign out of your accounts. So if you do use uh, computers regularly with an Outlook or Microsoft account, you will have to manually sign those out. If you don't, you will remain signed in. Of course, this is a big push for data collection. The longer you are signed in, the more they can track you around the internet. They can see the things that you are doing. And uh, they even have more opportunities to sell that data to advertisers. And uh, honestly, this is an increase in a hack target as well. Uh, now, looking at the actual Microsoft uh, Microsoft announcement over here. So what they're saying here on uh, on their support page, this is their um, uh, Microsoft account help using a public computer. Your sign in experience is changing. The web browser sign in experience is changing when you sign into any product or service in your Microsoft account. Starting in February of 2025, you will stay signed in automatically unless you sign out or use private browsing. If you sign in on your own computer, your browser will remember your sign-in information, but if you sign in on a computer, phone, or tablet that does not belong to you or is accessed by other people, you should follow the steps below and use a, uh, to use a private browsing window instead. So if you are using public computers or friends' computers or other things and you are in the habit of signing into random computers with your Microsoft account, well, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is stop doing that. It's kind of dangerous. Get yourself a little USB stick and, uh, you know, throw anything from Tails to just any Linux install on that thing. Pop that bad boy in a keychain. If you really need to log into an account from a computer that's not yours, plug in your little drive, boot their system into your little computer so you will be logging in on a your device, not on their device. But how many people, A, know that this is change is happening? Are they going to broadly push us out? Or is this just one of these silent things that has changed in our terms of service that uh, you would have to read through pages and pages to find out? Also, is this here, in my opinion, to collect more data? 
This is what Google started to do a few years ago. You're, you stay signed in unless you explicitly sign out. They, In fact, they tried to get you to sign in and stay signed in on your uh, Chrome browser. So the idea here is that cookies would follow you around the internet. And when you're using these internet cookies, they these are the ways that they were using to uh, to track you. They know what websites you're landing on and then they can analyze the cookies that are on your system. The problem is you have control over the cookies on your computer and cookies only contain a small amount of information. This is why Google has been trying to do away with all of the cookies, requiring you therefore to uh, to basically sign you into the account. Now they can control the data, although they say you can delete it. Can you really delete it permanently off of somebody else's computer? Well, that depends. In my opinion, it's just hiding it from you. That's kind of what's going on. Do I have solid evidence of that? Not particularly other than uh, the case about what 10, 15 years ago where a person uh, contacted Facebook under, uh, it was the predecessor to the GDPR to say to Facebook, hey, what information do you have on me? Compelled by law to give it over. And he said, there's all these deleted posts in the file. I can see they're deleted because it says marked deleted. They're still in the Facebook account. It's just his account was not able to see them. Are they doing that with our data? Uh, we would need a court case to determine that. We would need a, to go through discovery or have some uh, independent computer forensics uh, person going in and looking at their actual data, looking at their actual servers. Uh, is it going to be deleting from their, all their old backup archives? There's a good question. So Microsoft is now pushing this same general approach because if you stay signed into the Microsoft account, they can ping and collect all the information as you move around the net. So that is really what... Uh, uh, they are doing here. Uh, of course, uh, staying signed into accounts is how a lot of people are getting compromised. Your Google accounts are getting stolen by utilizing this because the idea here is that this is using a pass key. It's perfectly safe. Not necessarily. Uh, and that's uh, what we have seen multiple times uh, with even big, even big tech YouTubers having their accounts taken over because they're staying signed in. They end up on a malicious site. The malicious site steals all of the uh, the the browser cookies and the session tokens and boom, they're into your account. So that's what they're saying. Now, even worse is under the sign out. If you hit the sign out everywhere button, if you think someone might have, uh, someone else might have access, or if you, you're like, oh, I checked, I checked uh, my email at the library the other day and I forgot to push the sign out. You can go in and you can uh, hit the sign out button anywhere except the Xbox console, any Microsoft account management except this. And you can click the sign out everywhere button. The problem is it takes 24 hours to sign you out so if you go in and say oh boy i think i goofed up and hit that sign up button you have now up to 24 hours hackers can still get into your information so microsoft while it's trying to be the most the most technologically and secure company uh remember this is the same company that has had so many security bundles that they have started pushing their uh executive level bonuses dependent on the number of security breaches i.e if we get security breaches you don't get your bonuses and this is the boneheaded crap they do forcing you signed in in a world where the biggest hack right now attacking computers is stealing your session cookies and then the sign out button takes 24 hours to sign you out so just be aware if you are still forced to use a microsoft account for various purposes uh I'm, you know i'm not uh denigrating that at all you might need it for school work your junk email account or whatever could be an outlook account that's i have a still have a microsoft uh hotmail account that only gets used under very rare circumstances uh but you know, it's, it's my junk email collection. And uh, if I sign in somewhere, guess what? Next time I sign in, I'm going to have to remember to sign myself out. Otherwise, they want to stay signed in. Now, I generally use that under a private window anyway. If you need to use that Microsoft account going forward, if it's not your computer, use, uh, you know, sign up manually or use a private browser. You should probably be doing that anyway. Although you might even consider doing that on your home computer because of the possibility of malware stealing your session tokens. So there you go, Microsoft. That is a wonderful piece of news. Thank you for that. Uh, and uh, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below.